Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros. And today we're gonna to be showing you guys how to clean your PC. This is actually my brother's computer and it's a little bit dusty, needs some upgrades, and we're just gonna do a quick little tutorial for you at home if you want to deep clean your computer, how you can make it look nice and fresh. But before we get into that, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by GVG Mall, the online marketplace to gain access to some really awesome discounted game keys and more specifically, Windows 10 licenses. All you have to do is use the link in the description down below. Go to GVG Mall's website, use code TV20 to get 20% off of your purchase. Really easy to activate your Windows install, buy the key, you get the key, and then you can just throw it into your Windows install of choice and boom, there you go. You have activated Windows 10 ready to go. So thanks again to GVG Mall for sponsoring today's video. So this PC features, well, an i7 8700K with a GTX 1080. The specs are still pretty good and my brother has been itching to get a new upgrade, but everything going on in the world right now, I've kind of told him just hold off a little bit. You have a pretty decent computer. It just needs a cleaning, probably some new thermal paste added. Um, we're gonna be adding an extra storage drive for some games. We're gonna take a look inside, see how bad the dust is and try to clean this up a little bit and make it look nice and new. What we, what we got here, what do, you, what do you think? So what we have here is an old Be Quiet case, which I found really peculiar because it has acrylic, but has two layers of acrylic. So there's actually stuff in between the acrylic. Hopefully we can kind of get that apart. But let's go ahead and take off the front panel and the rear panel um, and just kind of get our initial thoughts. So a lot of dust on the inside. Um, and yeah, we've actually seen worse in this, believe it or not. This really isn't like terrible, but he is getting close to the point that he's probably starting to lose a little bit of performance due to overheating because of just all the dust that's in it. He's not there yet, but I'm sure it's getting close. So we'll go ahead and take screws off the back. Yeah, look at this power spot, just watch this. I can draw faces. I can I could write Toasty Bros and you, sign. You don't want to look at this dust. cooler. You don't want to look at this cooler fan. I I can see it and it's coming out the back. Like we're gonna we need some good thumbnail it's stuff. It's intense now. Is this cable? Ooh, not really cable managed either. So we don't might roast need to, me. That that's a matte build. Yeah, this is one that you threw together. <laughs> so this might need to be uh, cable managed as well. Um, like Matt said, we are adding an extra SSD. But look look at these grills in the front. You're starting to actually, like especially right here, we're actually getting some clogs there even, which. Like I said, it's not going to affect performance a ton realistically, but you know, he might get one extra FPS out of doing this. It's actually like some, it looks like <laughs> toilet paper in there. Toilet paper. I don't know what's been going on here, but we're going to, we're going to defunk this PC and uh, make it nice again. Okay guys, so uh, we thought the best way to like clean this thing is to first take it to an air compressor over at our PC business, PC Bros. Go check it out. Let's do it. So one of the things that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna hold the fans as we blow them. My God, that fan's dusty. Hold up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. oh. But we're gonna hold the fans because if you're not careful, especially if you're using a high powered compressor, you're gonna spin the fans faster than they're ready to spin. You're gonna wear out the bearings and stuff. So, um, you know, just, just keep that in mind. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh my God. That's why that thing needs to get cleaned up. Yeah, most of this can probably like, we got the main like big dust cleans done and all we gotta do is like touch up stuff. We're gonna reapply thermal paste, show you guys how to do that. Probably do the same thing with the graphics card just for the sake of showing you guys how to do that. What kind of graphics card is being held into? They don't, yeah. they don't like that. Listen, all right, <laughs> professional building at this its is, This is OG matte building right yes, here. but OG. Um, yeah, we'll take everything out, make sure we put it back in uh, well. We're gonna replace these PCI covers. Um, we're gonna reapply thermal paste with some new Arctic thermal paste. Cause it actually is recommended to replace thermal paste, especially the cheaper stuff every few years really, cause that dries out and loses a lot of its conductivity properties. That was a big word. Conductivity <laughs> properties. I'm surprised you got that out, dude. I'm proud of you. Thank you. And one more big blow. Yeah. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do now is take this cooler off. Pretty simple to do. Just take these little 
fan brackets off so we can actually unscrew this thing. And then we're gonna re reapply thermal paste, which as Jackson mentioned, very important to do and probably clean the inside of this fan a little bit. Ooh, nice. Yeah. So yeah, microfiber is definitely one of your best friends when cleaning a computer. You don't wanna use like paper towels or um, anything that's abrasive. Yeah, thermal paste isn't that bad as you can see, but yeah, I could definitely use a uh, touch up. Um, and 8700K does run a little bit toasty, so making sure we uh, get that nice and clean will look really good, so let's do it. Thermal paste isn't that awful on this, but since it's a blower style card and it really needs all the help it can get to stay nice and cool, um, I have some thermal paste over here that we're gonna go ahead and slap on there. Um, if you wanna do even more deep cleaning, which I don't think we have, you can use like Q-tips. That's like an easy way to just like get between these little edges to try to get as much of thermal paste off as you can. Um, but I am going for the approach of making sure this thing is still functioning um, and still adding a little bit of extra performance to it potentially. There we go. And we're gonna go ahead and add just a little dab. This is kind of different compared to a CPU. You probably wanna go ahead and just get that nice and covered. And there we go. The pads look pretty good also. We'll go ahead and show you that. So if you have a really old graphics card that, well, is not a GTX 1080, you can get some pads and change those off. Um, if your VRMs are overheating, um, if you are knowledgeable enough to know that that's the problem with your graphics card, uh, go ahead and change out these thermal pads, but these look still pretty good. Um, you could still get some like aftermarket ones, but this is a blower style card. There's still gonna be some heat issues just because it is a blower style card, but yeah, I think it's gonna do pretty good getting it nice and cleaned up. Let's go ahead and put it back together. All right, there she is looking fresher than before. Um, yeah, it might improve some temperatures a little bit. I'm not expecting a major boost, but since we're doing a quote unquote deep clean video, might as well take it apart, see what the thermal paste looked like. And uh, now we're probably just gonna do a little bit of cable management. I'm gonna try to clean up some of these extra adhesive pads that I have in here that really have no purpose. Um, you know, old Matt just putting like RGB strips absolutely everywhere. Um, we're gonna try to get rid of those and then wrap things up with a little bit of cable management. All right, so we have this collection of these PCI covers that, well, I'm gonna try to find some that are somewhat matching. Probably just gonna grab a bunch of black ones and put them on here, because we'll match the case. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do that, and then uh, some cable management. Okay guys, so as you may or may not be able to tell, this computer is a heck of a lot cleaner and it's probably going to run a decent amount better. 
We did a lot of just basic cleaning things that you could do at home for your gaming PC. So every year or so, or as often as you really want, I recommend changing your thermal pace. The GPU is not super necessary unless you have like a five-year-old plus graphics card. Really, we didn't need to do it in this situation, but we did it just to make sure it was perfect and to show you guys at home how to do it. But overall, very happy how this thing turned out. We weren't gonna go super crazy with it because my brother's probably gonna get a new PC within like a year or so. So this will hold them over for now and uh, maybe you'll see the PC build on the channel when that happens. So as always, don't forget to check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Oh my gosh, look at this. Merch. Look at it. Yay, toasty bros. Guys, if you scroll down to the very bottom of the merch store, there's something very special for Is you it there. a meme? It's a meme. A Go meme check it out. Yeah, do it.